more. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on? Hey, there's a creepy guy sitting at my door. Hey, What's he we doing? don't want any. He's... I don't want him. I know, no, no. Hey, He's selling bow ties. Away. He's selling bow ties. We don't want any. <laughs> Candy Graham. Candy Graham. Come on in, Cody. Go, Come okay. on in. Land shark. Me. <laughs> Land shark. Land shark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, buddy. I what love is that? these new things. So this is the ring. Huh? This is this is a great video doorbell that you can use. You set it up on your on your door. It's very easy to install. You get video. You get two way communication, and you don't have to tell anybody whether you're home or not. So oh. if you, so can, you could be somewhere else, and yeah. they think you're inside talking to exactly. them. Exactly. You can be in a completely different place, be at work, ah. and if somebody's delivering a package, and you can talk to them, or you get some creeper walking up to uh -huh. your door, you can be like, hey. Get away from there! You don't belong here, or whatever. But it's also great for like if your kids are home, they get can away see. From here. And, and the inventor says that when he when he talked to his wife about it, she said it's like caller ID for my for my front door. Yes, that's exactly what it's like. Because when those creepy neighbors come by with the brownies, that you're just not quite sure what's in them. You could just go, uh, you know what? Just leave them on the doorstep. We're not home. The dog will get to them later. But it also has a it has a couple other little accessories. This is just the chime. This way, if you you know you heard kind of the sound uh -huh. as, it, as it's going up, but you can put the chime someplace else, like in your bedroom or whatever, so you can kind of hear. It. And it's going on. Mm, okay. And it works really, really great. I mean, for 200 bucks, you can kind of see what's going on at your front door. I love that. But overall, with DIY home security, that we're going to get into the Piper next. But uh -huh. with, with, when it comes to installing your own security things, one thing you got to know is you're going to be the one in charge of making sure that everything's secure. You're going to monitor your own system. Oh, okay. So when you go buy an alarm from a professional, right, they're going to monitor it, they're going to call the cops if something's going wrong or if you don't answer your phone or whatever. But see, I got an alert on my phone that told me, hey, Cody's at the front door, take a look. But if I ignore my phone, I get too many Facebook, too many tweets, too many other things, and I start ignoring that stuff, then forget it. It doesn't work. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to work. No. You, you're going to ignore all that stuff. So this one here, this is called the Piper. Piper. Piper's $280. Okay. It's an expandable system. So their, their main thing here is this little camera. It's got okay. night vision, which I think is super cool. Ooh, okay. It's got motion activated, and, and it's also got a two-way speaker on it as well. And it's a super loud alarm. So what it does, it takes a picture of the room, okay. and if anything changes in that room, it'll send you an alert. And you can set the, sen the sensitivity to different levels that you want. So if you want it, if you wanted to check the temperature, for example, it'll tell you, hey, the temperature's rising really fast. There's probably a fire going on. Ah. Or if there's a, a loud noise, like a, a break or, or a crash or something, it'll alert you. Um, but again, you're going to be monitoring on your own phone. You can set it up so that way it'll also contact certain contacts on your contacts list. So if you really want to annoy your mother-in-law, throw her on there and walk her across <laughs> the room. And just keep going off a little bit. Hey. So it's here's some of the expandable things you can get. There's a little sensor. This is for like doors or windows. So if the door opens up, ah. it's going to set off an alarm. Okay, okay. Um, and then this this here is just a plug, so you can have a smart plug. So that way, if you want to turn off your lights remotely, or if you want to turn off your uh, television remotely, or your coffee maker, you just get one of these, and you can use the system to turn it off. Kind of like a smartphone. Oh, okay. Smart home. So this is 280 expandable. This is 200 not expandable. Yes. Well, this one will work with some smart systems. Okay. But but for the most part, it's really just kind of a standalone thing. Okay. And you just watch it on your phone. So, for the fact that you, in most alarm companies, you're going to spend like 30 bucks a month for them to monitor, and, and you don't have to do any of that stuff. You spend 280 dollars, expand it as you want to, customize it as you want to. You're done. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend 30 bucks every month. For somebody to monitor it. Brilliant. Kind of cool. All right. You gonna stick around another hour with yeah, us? Yeah, we got. We're doing. Uh, I don't remember what we're doing. We're doing something about apps, though. So, so we'll figure it out. Something about apps. That's a tease, people. <laughs> right. That's a tease right there. Just right, something about kid. apps. Something about apps. We're, we're gonna talk tech. We're something talk about tech? computers oh, and right. apps and stuff. I thought we were talking appetizers. I was oh. really, really excited about that. I was kind of hungry. Nerve All right, work. back to you, kid. I love that though. Do-it-yourself kind of home security. I like that stuff. Thank you, guys. Checking with you later. Uh,